another i you know uh, point i want to take it forward and probably put it simply uh, was daniel was saying is he in a in, in a way asking this question that biden's coming uh, to israel to what end a or b uh, if hezbollah and hamas attack where biden is things could really spiral out of control um uh, you know uh, us will come into direct conflict with uh, uh, all of these perpetrators who, who will uh, who will attack biden which is which is uh, a move that in chess you don't do you don't open your uh, defense up so much that someone has the capability to attack you so and as it is the summit was cancelled he should have cancelled his visit be that as it may the the end end result uh, both of I... you can, can i can i jump in both of you believe biden should have cancelled his visit irrespective of who was responsible or what was responsible for the gaza hospital bombing i want quick responses from both of you on why you think that uh, group captain you first then daniel why, why should biden not come no. let me argue let me argue this in a, a different way isn't it even more important for the americans to get in here and get some sort of order to what's happening so that israel's right to retaliate exists and coexists with humanitarian access for civilians in gaza because left to themselves the two warring parties are not going to be able to achieve it why do you think group captain that biden shouldn't be coming no i'm not saying biden shouldn't be coming i said at this he moment had his, at this yeah. moment he may have had his more pressing reasons to come i probably want to respect that but barka since our viewers are mostly from this part of the our part of the world i want to draw a parallel uh, uh, thing which you live covered which is 2611 amid amid all those bullet uh, bullets flying all around you yeah we lost so many people did we take a knee jerk reaction we didn't did we go to war we didn't did we fire a bullet against pakistan we didn't i hoped that when this massacre happened you know being a responsible nation like israel would sit back assess the situation prepare the diplomatic ground prepare get the international people on board and then go all out if they wanted to go all out if that was the you know um, uh, the end game in mind but they went exactly you know falling prey to what hamas wanted them to do which really perplexed me and with that move was the one which like daniel said they had dug the pit and all of them are now in that pit yeah. don't know how to come out of it yeah yeah that is, i think that's a, that, that's a very important point in fact another interview i was doing daniel with a global analyst called ian bremer he said israel's walking into a trap hamas is setting a ta- trap for israel and israel is walking right into the trap and what's going to happen by the end of the middle of it is that the global solidarity that has been shown for israel will start waning and actually it will become advantage hamas uh, i want to ask you whether a you feel that b why you think uh, if i got you right that biden could have kept his visit for another time given the hell uh, that is unfolding here on the ground asking me <laughs> yes i am okay i tried prior to the horrendous events of yesterday to read what the purpose of the biden visit was and for ever what one could say it was coherent uh it expressed the policy the policy expressing solidarity with israel but without giving a blank check uh getting involved in the details of what israel could and could not do trying to engage regional partners in a summit in amman um and i thought that was very good i know the people involved were planning this um they're not perfect but they they know the material and all of a sudden this all fell apart not only with the attack but uh, minutes before the president took off i was posting images of disturbances in jenin in nablus in hebron in ramallah in not against israel calling for the resignation of president abbas and they were coming from hamas activists not from 
um, they were coming from um, Fatah uh, activists. At the mo at the time, I said, I can't imagine that the president will come. His agenda has fallen apart. And I was very pleased with myself with being so, um, you know, accurate until I saw him getting on the plane. Um, I don't know what his agenda is. I cannot imagine how difficult it was a decision. Should he come or should he not? They know things that I don't. It may be that this, it's a high risk situation. He would be taking risks if he stayed home. He was taking risks now by coming. All I can say is I hope that he is able to inject um, an element of responsibility, restraint, and recognition of the humanity of all of the victims. Uh, President Biden, you know, is open to criticism like everybody, but I think that he genuinely is concerned to the plight of the victims. And I await, like you, to see what happens. Uh, it could go very bad. What will happen if there are rockets during his visit from Gaza Absolutely. or mass um, uh, uh, barrages from the north, uh, from Hezbollah, or um, uh, regime challenging demonstrations in Ramallah and in Hebron. Ramallah. All of these things can happen. Um, I just hope he succeeds in what he's trying to do because I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm.